Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Oh, she does have a uniform. Yeah. Uh, let's, Good morning, Frank. Let's be optimistic. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Lost me? <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! <clears throat> Alright, so... Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Marker's already on the map. Okay, so this one is two, 207 Main Street. Let's do that one first. Is it a package? Oh yeah, it is. So that's easy. Two and seven. Somebody's gonna get a fucking uh, bear. Damn, smoking inside. I forgot about that. Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago. Back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. <laughs> so now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. You do? You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. Oh. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. I see what you meant. I wanted to see this, like, Mr. T was over here. Oh, Mr. X, dude. Look at that. High A instead of high C. The Kool-Aid looks, looks very, very much of the same, dude. Fruit twinkles. Ding-dongs, dude. Big dings, I mean. <laughs> That's cool. Hmm. Oh, it's like active maps. So nobody gets daily mail advertisements kind of shit, man. It's very, uh, we're skipping houses and stuff. We're like the only important mail or something. Like UPS or, I mean, I remember yeah. this is the old Sugarman place. Or FedEx. The envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Oh, McGill, dude. They're not playing Better Call Saul. There's the post office. Let's go down this way. One or two, like, okay. 200 Lake Road. Let's go there. Oh, sorry, can I? I'm actually enjoying Let's this. Let's not obey any rules, dude. I am the law. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. Wasn't I here yesterday? I don't remember. Oh, okay. Kind of a floaty, so this is too many, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 200. Oh, somebody's getting a nice present here. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Oh my god, how many cats? There's some on the roof. There you go, oh, crazy cat lady. Look, Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello there, what's your yeah, name woman. then? Oh, Jenkins, me and Meredith, dude. 
Well, I'm not a male man, exactly. I'm Meredith Weiss. Heavens, I meant no offense. Oh, here you go. It's yeah. just that male woman doesn't sound right, does it, Genevieve? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. 22. Dark 22 scarecrow. years, to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieve's ago. Calm down, Genevieve. <laughs> You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. You do remember me, don't you? Of course, you're the cat lady, dude. How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins and her cats, of course? Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, Time did you have the police, a package dude. for me then? ASPC. And I think it's a toy bear. Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. I mean, it's shaped like one and feels plushy. Someone must think you need another animal in your life. Hmm. Bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? I know Frank would never feel up the packages. I mean, I have to take it out of the van, and I have eyes. Hmm. Well, it's probably another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Well, anyway. Well, anyway. Gotta run. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Oh, Genevieve fucking... said something, dude. Even the mailbox. I bet their house smells like just straight piss. <laughs> piss and like... Unless she super takes care of them. I won't even need that map. She takes care of them, dude. Like, really. It's a package, actually. It's another one of the. Oh, this is that place where it was closed last time. 300 like road. It's like what a car part. What did these folks order? It's a car part. Can I go inside? No. She's right here. Girl mechanic. No garage? Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Oh, fuck you. No, I'm just joking. Oh, Ghostbusters. Yeah. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, -ha, real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes. Your white and wobbly van, duh. No, she takes care I'm of it. I'm Lori. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Add a turbo and NOS. No, I'm just joking. Supercharge it, bitch. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching she me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PO than me. And I have to get back to work now. Okay, but I suppose ears, you may drive the goose. And her on walkman. one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Alright. Alright, that's a promise. Alright. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. The what? It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Probably Lori. The antenna or something. No problem, Miss W. <clears throat> Low functioning. Or that thing that hooks up to the alternator to remove the static sound. I don't know if you guys know about that. <laughs> uh, on old cars especially, since I have like 88 Corolla. Fucking... There's this thing where you have to hook it up to the... Uh, it's like a... I don't know, I guess... Whatever remover. First Bear Creek. And it, it removes like the... Uh, oh. Oh, 
was playing like ambient music there. And now it's playing. <laughs> it's a bad place. Where was Bear Creek again? Ooh, look at that fucking drift turn it. The goose. This place, fucking old school one lane bridge. Oh fuck! One lane bridge. Oh right, Bear Creek near the old lumber yard. Look at this, dude. Living in a log cabin, middle of nowhere. There's electricity. I would legit live here. Oh, I could just fill it in. There's a new face. Hey, rare sight indeed. Schedule. Oh, wait, wait. A rare sight for a secluded lumberjack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Last time I saw a human being was about six years ago. <laughs> I am here to deliver mail, and I come in peace. I'm Meredith. Thank you. I'm Robert. I hope the peace will be everlasting. Let's see what's inside. Oh, what the... I'll leave it to you. Have a nice day. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah. Thanks, and sorry. It's not your fault this is full of bullcrap. I don't want to get into that. Either. Take care of that shit yourself. No, I'm not that curious. Police turn. Let's shot the radio. Let's see if it plays that ambient music. Ambience, whatever. Can I cut through? Hell yeah, white goose! Play the white goose! Can't go there. <laughs> I didn't know it had the fucking ATV, dude. Oh my god. Alright. Oh my god. I'm gonna reset, but I'm good. One more package. I think I'm going the wrong way. Yes, I am. Well, it doesn't matter, actually. I like it weird how it just so click stuff and then the mouse comes up. There I can hear the music now. Oh shit. This is close to where I had my first kiss. Damn. First kiss, dude. I don't need to upgrade the one this thing. Oh, look at that. Somebody has a fucking, like, traino looking ones. Hatchbacks or civics. Fucking intro. Or the title screen or whatever. <clears throat> Ooh, baby, I love you, way. Eh? Ooh, baby, I love you, way. Eh? Every day, hey. I wanna send you the night and day. Mo's Diner. Motherfucker. Well, the there Ooh. stands Diner. Wait, it's called Mo's Diner now? It's a package. I get the deliver in, uh, delivery parking, dude. Oh, yeah. Feel like he is. 500 like or should be the last one, right? Yeah. What happened to Stan? Meredith Wise? 
as I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my, a few lines here and there, and the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right. Well, hello to you too, Maureen. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. Okay, one quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Give me some, like, uh... Thing. It's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. In that case, you're welcome, honey. Two coffee, coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, oh if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh... You know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. <laughs> and Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. I don't think I'm supposed to ask me to run away, but uh, sure, all right. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary, what are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Yeah, no, it's just so hard, but don't worry, uh, you stay up there. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Maybe you should check that out. Honestly, first the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. Must be strange for you as well. How are you doing? <sighs> I'm doing great. I'm reading lots of books in the sun. I also went on a beach walk and I saw baby turtles hatch. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Hmm, let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Did someone call me?
Who's this? I hope we can say I'm a friend. Listen, you creep. It's not your money we want. It's your ass. I'm sorry to hear that. Like, comment and subscribe or I'll break your fucking legs.